friends and welcome back to my channel so this is um, a new flip through in my mini um, first things first um, I put this cover on Instagram and everybody loved it everybody loved it I got it from Joann's let me show you the paper so this is what the paper looks like um, it's by AC Cardstock. Let me show you the number just in case that you want to get it. I got some sunlight coming in and I have um, my ring light. So I'll just keep it real still so that you can get the number in case. Let me close my blind a little bit. It's a little bright. Okay. So that is the paper that I used to make my cover. I love it. And after I did it, I said, dang, I didn't put any words on it or anything, but it really does not need any words. Okay, we're gonna jump in it. Of course, it came with the mini disc. I changed it to the rose gold. Rose gold. These are the plastic disc, plastic disc. Can't talk this morning. But I did order some silver ones to, um, this is the classic, and I was gonna change because I thought the silver would go with it well. Let me um, open them. And I was just a little impatient, and it doesn't take long for the Happy Planner stuff to get to me now because I realized, just don't go through PayPal, just use my credit card, and I just don't really kind of like using my credit card sometimes online, but now for Happy Planner, I will because I know that I'm gonna get my stuff in two to three days, so I don't know who ships their stuff out. But it's pretty quick now. So, this is what the silver metal disc. So, I was going to do the silver metal disc. And I thought that would look good against that. But I do kind of like the rose gold. So, but if I ever decide to change, I have those. So, let's jump into it. Um, also, I added this pin loop by Print Pressions. And they were on like $3 and... <laughs> and some change, and you get three of them. Let me show you. So you get these two as well that comes together, and that's on printpressions.com. Okay, so this is the cover, and then over here, oh, my little lady got bent up. This is one of my die cuts that I, I think I either got offline or something. Anyway, I cut it myself, and then, I think I did a haul on these tags. Not sure, I know I did a haul on them, but I'm not for sure if I posted it. And there you go. So these came from Joann's, these tags. We'll put those back. I'm gonna try to be as thorough as possible, but at the same time, not too long. And then I have these sticky notes that I believe I got from Michaels. And let me tell y'all, these sticky notes are godsend. And at first I wasn't gonna keep them in here, but I have to because like, um, we'll get to it, the reason why I need them. And I need them in here. So, and then I just left this April thing up. Why, oh yeah, because I kind of moved in it, it was today, today's April 29th. So I kind of moved it in the uh, end of April. So I just didn't wanna have to redo April because I'm going to end up taking April out to make a little more room so I'll take April out and this is my April monthly setup and if you follow me on Instagram if you're not why not I am Norris Cove on IG head on over there because you see a lot of things there before you see them here even a little flip through so I planned this if you follow my IG I planned this in my uh, car while I was waiting on my dinner one day and this is my very first ugh, very first spread in this um, book because it came with these lines and I just didn't know how to work it so I kind of just did something. <laughs> and so another reason I'm keeping it because I have some empty pages so in case I want to change it but I'll move them out and move them to the side. And this is kind of like my second spread, kind of getting the hang of it or how I should use it. And then there are some empty pages, so that's another thing. So I want to hold on to them so I can take it back. And I can just use these because I really haven't figured out how to use this planner. I'll get it, though. And then some more meal planning and chores. And then I decided one day to take a daily page. It's in the back. Take a daily page and then make it into a meal plan. I don't know why this daily page makes me wanna <laughs> create food on it. I don't know why I don't do anything else with it pretty much. 
So I did um, a meal plan with it because and I stopped at Thursday because normally we eat out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But that's about to, well Friday and Saturday. That's about to change because I'm back on um, trying to lose weight and I need to eat at home more and save. So this is what I needed to buy from the grocery store, and then this is the meal plan that I set up. I mean it was okay. I was just winging it, so I didn't like, of course, my handwriting, but nonetheless. And then this was last week, I believe. Yeah. And so here's another one of those day pages, and I just didn't do anything with it. I don't even think I even used this. I didn't even look in here last week, I gotta be honest. So I didn't do much in here last week, but this is what was supposed to have been done. And this is my social media part, and then part of that other one. And then see, I have this page here. And then this was like every day. And I just wrote this in like yesterday on Sunday, which was the 20th catch up all videos and plan videos. And so that's what I've been doing. Yesterday I caught up pretty much and I'm catching, I'm still catching up. So you may see some old haul videos or things like that on my channel. Um, and then like that Monday and that Tuesday was my birthday. And then um, I went out for lunch with my girls at work. And that was it. And I did record what I made, but I decided to switch what I made over to maybe the micro and that's what I did last week is a recording in my micro but I still have to break it down by date in order to do it like this so still trying to figure that out and then here's a dashboard that I made also using some cardstock well here's a I'm sorry piece of um, vellum from Joann's that I cut to fit and then here's some cardstock um, I showed this book I think I showed it on my Instagram, the paper that I used. I may, when I do the, well, you'll see, because I think I'll put that up first. Of, well, I may do this first and then show you the setup of how I set this up. It's in that video. Either one that goes first is in that video. Then this is my May monthly for basically my social media and home. Well, not necessarily home, but social media and um I wanted to kind of put everything down in a month's view. I've seen people do that and I can see how that could be helpful. I'm just gonna do that real quick because this is my um, ideas that I have. I have another paper in my A5. I just have to find it of video ideas that I had. And so what I'm doing is just kind of posting them and I'm trying to get a system so that way I can be a little more consistent on both channels. It's almost like a job, you know, this is what you have to do this day. You know, you have to record on Thursday, Yoshida, this is what you have to do. So, flipping over, so this is this week, this week's spread, and this is like home, and every day I believe, because I have a couple of clients down, but I gotta figure out something else because now I'm in a mini, I don't have I have to figure out a different, I may have to go into the horizontal, I'm not sure, but I'm loving dashboard. So I may save dashboard for social media. And I did a video on this spread, you've all already seen that video. And actually I'm uploading this video now and it'll be up before this video. So I did this video, um, this spread, this is also this week, this is social media. And that's what it looks like. Not too bad, nine minutes in. So you can see, so I'm gonna let you all know. this. So this is um my little uh, name thing I made myself. Just cut it some paper, cardstock paper. So I'm gonna let you all know, these pages are not in order. Some of them are, some of them aren't. But I just kind of put them in there in case I wanted to use them. So I'm originally sort of using horizontal and I'm gonna figure it out. But I kind of wanted to play with um, the dashboard. And then this came from Bunny Plans. Um, this right here also if you want to uh, get something like this check out my girl um, Shay G here on YouTube plan a girl Shay on IG and she has a 15% off code for you I believe and then I made this dashboard here and I just stuck these things on here that's the little card I clipped it and then another die cut that I already had positive thoughts positive life um, there's that video I just finished so then I have a June monthly. Oh, wait a minute. I think. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Well, maybe it is June. Okay. We'll figure it out. That's what I said. Some pages are just not together. Then I have some more layouts in here for June. And I may switch them up. But I wanted to keep them in case I decide to use them. 
And also, I'm, I'm storing all my extra paper in here with an expandable disc and my mini. So if a month doesn't match up, it's in here. Trust me, I took all the pages that I kind of destroyed, they're in here. So this might be June right here, I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll find out, we'll find out. So either way, we got it. And so all my note pages and daily pages are back here. Some grid paper, so we'll figure it out. Moving right along, so this dashboard here, I made at first, so what I did was I went on, um, this sun, hold on y'all. I went on Pinterest, there we go. Get a little sunlight. I went on Pinterest and um, thanks to my girl Shay, <laughs> and she hit me to Pinterest, so I chose this like wallpaper background. Then I found this quote. So then I had to go an eraser and um, take out the background of the quote. Then I added it onto the paper. I mean the wallpaper. Then I printed it, cut it, and then here it is. And then I saw this bike. I got this bike, I believe, and it was a die cut from one of those Joanne packets. Um, I think I did a haul on that. I did. I did do that video is up. So I believe it was in that pack and these sunglasses. Isn't it pretty? And so the gold just went perfect. So I was like, yeah, I'll keep that. And then here we are in July. So July seems to be matching up. <laughs> here goes some more dashboards because I said in July I may try a dashboard layout. And then here's my next one. This is what it looked like. And I really didn't realize those went together like, I don't know. I wasn't thinking when I put it together, but I like it. And let me show you what this is. This little honeycomb here. And I just threw some washi tape on it. It is the paper from something I bought. <laughs> and it was laying around this cut piece. So it was laying around. And I said, mm, I like that. Let me just cut that and glue it. And that's what I did. I cut it and glued it and there it is. But I did glue it on and I just threw that tape over there just as a piece of deco, deco just threw it on there because it, it's held on by glue but I just threw the tape on just to be throwing it on just for to look plannerish I guess and it says except what is except what is let go of what was and have faith in what will be and this is something else I, this quote I liked it because it's something that I talk about um, in my wellness video I'm going to throw this back in here so I don't um leave it on the table because sometimes when I rip my book up tear it apart I will um, leave the stuff so that's all it is nothing there yet and then this is September and also from bunny plans I got her rose all day she is so pretty so and then this came from botanicals or farmhouse these quotes so all, once again went on Instagram found this wallpaper and I thought it matched the cover of my planner so well and it's just cardstock well it's not even cardstock I actually printed on regular paper because what I'm doing is I'm putting it over top of the dashboard that's already in there that way I don't have to make a whole tab and all of that let me um it looks like it's coming apart I didn't get the corners I don't think oh I did I thought it was coming apart so it's on there and then I just took some quotes from either my farmhouse book or either botanicals and I just added those added this here and made it kind of like a, a dashboard card so it's pretty and then we're into September October okay September is my well that is September and then as you see I don't have any papers here because I didn't want to overstuff her and then we're going to take out the little pages in April so then I'll add pages once I take out April and then I found this pretty pink vellum but I cut it and I don't know what I cut it for. I think I cut it for another piece. And this is what I had left. So I just stuck it in there just to be sticking it in there. And I like pink. So let me flip it. And then this is another dashboard. I did something. I made a dashboard with this cover something. And isn't that pretty? So it goes with this book, I believe. So what I did was I had some left. I just cut it put holes in it and I'm just keeping it as like a divider just some deco and then here's something else I printed off of um, Pinterest glued it down on my paper I'm not for sure if I'm gonna keep it here because um, the corners I couldn't get those stretched out to fit but nonetheless it's pretty and so that's that then we're in October November so here's the yeah here's the dashboard 
So I just stuck that over November. Look how pretty. So pretty. And this came from Joanne's as well. And here's that pink vellum. And I have it across that shiny paper again. So look how it goes. It gives off a pink, an orangey pink. And then that. So pretty. Hmm. I mean, I've been carrying it around, but didn't pay much attention. And then some more pages. Like I said, you'll see I'll just have different um, pages. And then I'll glue whatever page, you know, I decide to use over top. So who knows, I may use the actual, this actual layout by that time, I don't know. And then I may switch out my Decembers because I have some more Decembers in other months. So I may just switch those pages out. Let's see. And then here are some little pieces. So of course, this came from that. And I just stuck it in there and then that card and that one and this little pocket I got from I believe Michaels it's a adhesive pocket it's in that strange traveler's notebook section the one with everything is brown I can't describe it I don't know the name of it I'm sure someone can tell me the name of it I don't know the name of it I call it vintage maybe vintage section but it's two pockets and I cut it in half and then the part that was coming apart I just glued it with my permanent um, Tombow, Tombow tape and then let it sit and so I think this should be here anyway and then I just have that there in the middle and then again this pen loop came from print pressions so this is like a Transformer supposedly I don't know how I'm gonna make out with it being a transformer and then this is the back of the planner the dashboard but it's a wee look wee bigger but I'm just gonna keep it for now if you can tell so this is the front and this is the back so it looks like it matches up but when it's transformed it doesn't match oh when I think it goes that away I don't know if it's pushed in all the way it looks bigger than everything else see but when it's by itself it works I don't know so anyway transforming on to and then my little bow I did a, a DIY video on this bow and I have some more let me know if y'all want to see some more DIYs I have some more DIYs in mind so this goes into basically this is another dash I mean excuse me cover that I made using some paper a paper pad from Joann's so we're gonna flip and then I have some um, Gucci coffee cups. This is a die cut I made. And this here, another one of those. I thought those cactuses would be perfect for like spring. And then this little journaling card, I think this came either in a Joann's pack or either a Happy Planner. So it's here. And I just put some holes in it and added it. It doesn't really match anything, but I just wanted it in there. Didn't really care. And then here's another dashboard I made. So I made these tabs myself. Not sure how I'm digging them, but they're there for now. And because I have not created a recipe section yet or made a recipe book, this is a recipe um, I did. This is, well, I haven't tried it yet. Matter of fact, today is the day I'm gonna make it. I'm at a, a matter of fact, I need to start now. So I did this. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo this because I wanna show you guys how I created this page. I didn't mean for anything to match up, didn't really care. Just wanted it kind of colorful, had the tape, so it just worked out, okay? And matter of fact, I'll do that video next. And then I have note pages back here because sometimes I like to jot down notes. And then this little dashboard here, I don't know, I just create off the top of my head. Here's some more of that extra paper I had. Oh, as you can see, this was glued down and I moved it. So, yeah, all that stuff was glued down and I just moved it. And I just stuck that where it was. And so, there you have it. Let me put some of this tape down. I moved it. It was down, but I just want to reinforce it. There you go. So that's that dashboard. 
and then this is the back of that dashboard now this is an adhesive pocket that i made it looks like it's coming up but i guess it's not and here's my norris cove uh, perfume bottle and i have it on a clip i don't put these in the shop but i have it as a sticker but if you'd like it as a die cut you know let me know and then of course that cactus um paper back there and then these washi i haven't done any die cuts in a while i need to make some more die cuts and then this board here and i just kind of put this one together i got these butterflies from somewhere and um seasons change and so so do we and this is a sticker out of probably a happy planner book and then I put this girl here on uh, vellum. Um, she was a freebie from Goldmine and Coco. If you're not in that group, please join. Um, she gives freebies, great products. Matter of fact, I'm waiting on some stickers from her, but I'm thinking about putting her into a die cut as well. Just gotta find her. And then I have um, this little thing. I think it came in, mm, I believe it came in a Joann's thing and I just punched some holes in it and there you have it might be happy planner not sure and then this is supposed to be my home section so as you can see I used that and just made it a cover and then what I did was I don't have a sprocket so I uh, showed you guys this paper uh, where is it anyway some photo paper is from pen and gear from Walmart just printed it on there so I'm gonna do some plan with me meal plans on these um, recipes here so I have them back here so they're easy easily accessible and also um, I have this is the one that's up front I got it in a smaller version so I'm gonna redo it with this one I believe and then even like days that I make this again I can put it when I get like a uh, meal plan I can just put it on the meal the day of the meal like that's what we cooking today's day this is what we're cooking today blah 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 and of course I'll probably change this but I just wanted to have extra of that because I can see I'm be making this a lot so I put that back and then I have it in a smaller version printed out like this and I just cut it and so in case again I make it more than once I can add it to the day of what um, I made that day for dinner I don't know if that makes a lot of sense but oh and then I have some of my functional stickers here and I have these here just in case I need to like put down a total of something um, whatever something I spent and these are in my store here so that's that and this Adisa pocket also came from that same section at um, Michael's so that's it it's just some more I don't know why these pages are back here maybe I don't know I don't know <laughs> so I got these uh, dashboards back here I got some more note paper and as you can see oh and then I have this clear pocket because this is the budget section and I made this tab which I'm just leaning towards like getting rid of because I can't get it to stay and this is a clear dashboard I made this with uh, basically I think I did this one with um, I don't know um, don't look like it laminating paper I believe and then here are these die cuts here and I have two of those I have to move that here's another die cut and I actually sell these bows I just um, they're in the little sticker form and then my little um, little time bag I just love to carry that and I thought that was perfect for the budget section let me go back but I'll put all that in there and then this is the last page so this is my basically budget I'll be adding pages in here and you all have seen this spread if you follow my Instagram this on there and I think we did a yeah we did a um plan with me on this so this is where I write my bills and I can come back here and check if I'm gonna carry this every day with me but now I have this final fax and my girl Shay has to kind of talk me into keeping it for myself instead of selling it. So now that may go in my final fax. I don't know. Anyway, so here's another card and I just punched it, put it in. When you love what you have, you have everything you need. And then of course, this is, that's just a, a mental budget reminder. And then, so these pages, so I'm I plan to kind of set this up so I'm thinking about do I want to make some mini sticker budget stickers or do I just want to order uh, from Shea Budgets because um, 
I just don't have the, I don't, I don't want to math anymore right now. <laughs> As far as the measurements and all of that. So I may order from Shea Budgets or something like that. So this is my girl. This is my mini. She's going to be with me every day. And this is what she looks like. Let me give you a frontal. Here she is that away. And I like her thick. I do. Y'all know I like her thick. Only thing that's really messing me up is this middle page when I... You know what? Maybe I should put this in the back. Hold on, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try putting her in the back since she seems to be the biggest. But this ain't really where I wanted her, but okay. And I was like, do I need expander rings for this? But I really didn't want expander rings because I had hopes of putting it in a nice cover. It doesn't matter. That middle one is going to stick out anyway. It's just because it's in the middle. Let me see if I get rid of that. hope I don't have a pocket there. And I do. And I need my pockets. But let me see what it looks like once I get rid of that. Then it's fine. And I got two back pockets. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, y'all. What do I do? Now, where did I get this from? Here we go. Right here. Well, I'm just going to leave it be. I do want to put, I guess, oh, it's getting dirty. I guess I'll leave it like this. All right, so that's it. She's thick like I like her, and she could be thicker. If it was up to me, I'm going to figure out a way. And, um, yeah, so, so far, I'm loving it. I'm keeping her, and so right now, she doesn't have a cover home. Um, I'll... I'm, I think this was in a haul. I ordered this Nabuku. She doesn't fit. I don't like it. It's too hard. I made this one myself, but it's not looking too good. It's just not sturdy. I've got some fabric from Joann's. And as you can see here, I followed a tutorial, but that glue is still wet. I don't understand. And this, I can't find the glue. So, and it's not measured right, but this is the planner that I made, and I mean, she's cute. Uh, I don't know. And I just ordered some more um, offline. I ordered some faux leather. So this will be her little uh, home right now. My little dog, my dollar fifty, <laughs> my dollar fifty um, thing is holding on. I mean, like it's the best fit for her. So here she goes in there, and it's a little hang on the side, just a little bit, but I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm just not digging the color and all of that, but this is what she'll be covered in for right now. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.